embraces the same level of interactivity on the web as non-AMP pages. But for performance and user experience guarantees, it's just done a bit differently. So today, I'm going to demonstrate by adding some custom interactivity to my blog. I've already gotten started by adding an AMP carousel that displays an image for each stop on my hike. But I want a clear link between the displayed image and the hike item. I'll do that by adding a background to the list item that matches the displayed image. To do this, I'll need help from the AMP selector component. AMP Selector is a very multifunctional component that lets us build customizable selection UIs. I'll add its script into the head of my document. I'll wrap my selectable items inside of the AMP Selector tags, then give AMP Selector an ID of My Selector. I'll then add the option attribute to each list item, which identifies it as an interactable element. Finally, I'll add the selected attribute to the first item, making it selected by default. Next, I need to define the selection behavior. In my case, I need to add a background color to the selected list item. I can do this by adding a new class to the CSS in the head of my document. I'll call it list background. Then indicate that I want it applied to elements with the option attribute and the selected attribute. Then I'll define that class on each list item. Great, now my first item is highlighted, but it doesn't highlight the next list item when I change images. To fix this, I'll define an action for AMP Carousel's slide change event. I start by adding the on attribute to my carousel, then specify the ID of my AMP selector and the AMP selector toggle action, which takes two arguments. The first, index, defines which of the available options AMP selector should apply the selected attribute to. Because my list and images are in the same order, I'll define event, which references AMP Carousel's slide change event, and then specify index, which corresponds to the index of the image now displayed. The second argument is value, which accepts a Boolean. I'll define true, which adds the selected attribute when a user selects an option, but does not remove it if it's already applied. And awesome. Now my highlighted list items change with my image carousel. But this doesn't work both ways. My carousel doesn't change when I select a different list item. The good news is this is a real quick fix. I'll add the tap event to each list item, then the go to slide action on my carousel. Awesome! Now my users can interact with my carousel and my list items. But there's just one last thing to do, and that thing is to add role and tab index to each of my list items in order to help with accessibility. And there we have it an interactive experience made custom for my blog. Thanks so much for watching! And you can get interactive by dropping what you want to see in future episodes into the comments below.